Hello Leos, <clears throat> this is your reading for April 2019. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. Let's see what's going on with my Leos for the month of April 2019. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please show me messages for Leo in love for April 2019. I'm going to do a Celtic cross, guys. Card size down initially, okay? Let's see. The energy gets around you guys. What's challenging you? What's underlying? A recent past. Best possible outcome. Okay, and there's a lot of cards there. What's coming in for you guys? Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Moon. Ooh, I feel like this is somebody that you guys. Um, you have a lot of very strong feelings for, could be a mother figure, but um, definitely somebody that I feel like, you know, does not really know exactly how you guys feel here. Somebody that probably once felt left out in the cold, and you probably once felt left out in the cold and rejected by them as well. Let's see. Hmm. It's coming in for Leo's here. Let's see how you guys are viewing the situation. That was basically Cancer Pisces energy right there. How are you viewing this situation? Let's see. Influence there. Let's see what your hopes and or fears are. Hopes or fears. And the overall outcome. The overall outcome there. Okay, so the energy that's around you guys currently <coughs> is the Emperor. Mm -hmm. That is a card of Aries. Um, Taurus as well, I feel. So it could be an Aries Taurus individual that you're thinking about that's significant to you. But this is also you guys feeling um, pretty strong right now. Okay. Uh, knowing exactly what you want and knowing that how to obtain it, how to get it, okay? You feel like you have everything under control, I feel, in a situation. Your challenge here is the Six of Swords. Hmm. This is about you guys. I'm feeling like this is coming, this is coming in to this situation. The Six of Swords. So, either there's somebody that you um, need to travel to, work things out with. Um, there, there's a need to let bygones be bygones, is what I'm getting here. Also, the Emperor is an energy that really does not move, does not budge. They like people to come to them. So. Um, what I'm getting from this is there's a need for you to be a little more lax um, and open about actually taking the initiative to do something, okay, in this situation. The underlying factor here is um, the Ten of Pentacles. This is what you guys are striving towards. Okay, building a legacy for yourself. Um, maybe there's somebody that I'm feeling like you may have children with, or this is what you want. Um, there is an energy of feeling comfortable in a situation, feeling content in a situation, um, feeling safe, feeling happy, and possibly, you know, spending the rest of your life in a situation with a certain individual. Virgo energy is here. Aries and Aquarius energy. Okay. Now in the recent past we have the Eight of Wands. I'm feeling like um, there has been communication with someone. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys have traveled. 
I feel like maybe you have traveled to a location where a particular individual is. Um, you guys have communicated a lot, maybe exchanged some loving messages. Okay, and I feel like you guys have changed a lot as well. You guys have changed a lot. I'm feeling that you guys definitely feel confident around a certain um, situation here. Now, how you are seeing your situation currently is the Queen of Pentacles. Again, um, Virgo, I feel Capricorn energy is here. Maybe Taurus. Um, but there, you know, you feel faithful, loyal. You feel resourceful, um, supportive. I'm, I'm definitely getting that... There, there's something that, something or someone that you feel very comfortable with, um, that you feel at home with, that you feel like, you know, you guys could be good together in this situation. Most definitely. Okay. Now, the best possible outcome here is the Eight of Pentacles that you guys can build, um, build something together. Okay. Can work together to establish this Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this this committed, this long term relationship ship that is built to last. That no matter what you go through, you guys can steady progress. Okay, I'm feeling like you want to protect this person. You want to be there. You want you want you know. There's there's an investment here. I feel like in a situation already, and. Um, you guys want to protect your investment, the time that you've actually put into it, um, what you already have with this individual. I also feel you guys are working very hard here in the month of April as well. Okay, Now what's coming in for you is the Two of Wands. Just knowing what it is that you want to do. Um, Aries energy there. Knowing exactly what you want to do. Okay. And communicating that is what I'm feeling here. Communicating that. You you see a lot of potential in a situation is what I'm getting here. You see a lot of potential in a situation. Whether it's financial, which I feel like a, a lot of it is financial. But um, but that's not the extent of it though. There's, there's definitely, I feel like, a relationship here that you guys are wanting to work on. There's somebody that you care about that you feel like um, could be husband or wife material here. Okay. Now, the influence here is the King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. Um, this is somebody that's very happy, I feel. Emotionally stable. Has a lot of love to give. And this person likes commitment. Okay. This person likes relationships. Very emotionally stable. Hmm. There's something I feel, feel like you guys are trying to protect yourselves from, too. Um, I feel like you don't want to be too mushy. You don't want to be too available. I feel you holding yourself back from something in this situation. I'm feeling you wanting to communicate something, but, you know, there, there's something that you're feeling uneasy about. And I'm feeling like it's like a lack of control or being vulnerable. That's the word. That is what it is. You know, you don't want to be too open, too vulnerable, because it leaves you open to be hurt. Um, is what I'm getting from you guys. And um, that's something that you definitely don't want to do. You don't want to be hurt in this situation. Your hopes or fears is the Knight of Swords. Um, that this person will be angry. That, you know, you won't be able to communicate with them effectively. Like, that, like the communication will be off. Okay. Like it's not going to be grounded. It's not going to be stable. Um, that you won't be able to say exactly what it is that you want to say and communicate what you want effectively. But I feel you guys are so very ready to communicate what it is that you want 
in this situation to an individual but I'm definitely getting that you're holding yourself back because um, maybe before communication has not been so good between the two of you and um, mm, you don't want it to get in the way of what you're trying to build what you're trying to do because you've decided <clears throat> you've decided in that situation what you want to do you've decided let's see what the overall outcome is here oh wow the four of wands this is marriage for some of you um, this is a committed relationship this is you guys definitely deciding that you want to be with someone that you want to be happy in this connection you don't care if you guys have you know different have been different um, in the past or if something was off about this connection before you know you're looking past all of that you're wanting to let bygones be bygones and accept this individual for who they are because I'm, I'm getting that there's there was a definite um, distinction between the two of you maybe you guys had different ways of communicating different ways of um, functioning in relationships or something different about this individual I'm feeling that um, it is not like you know your usual type of person that you would go for but you definitely see happiness and stability with this individual I feel okay Again, an Aries card there. So, <clears throat> I think I've basically, basically talked about all of the signs. But, um, I'm definitely getting you guys are holding yourselves back. Okay, so, <clears throat> be confident and um, go for what you know, guys. Alright, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.